Almost out of nowhere, a Steam page for a new Bendy game appeared, titled Bendy Secrets of the Machine. The game has a short teaser video on its Steam page, and not really much of interest is shown here. But something to note is that there's the house from the Ink Chronicles April Fool series. Now does this mean anything? I'm not really sure. I think it's just like a reused idea from that April Fool's video. I don't really think there's much that could be said about this house at the time, but I think it's pretty obvious it'll be important. The game's first screenshot shows a cartoon face vaguely resembling Bendy. Whether or not this is actually Bendy, I'm not really sure. He has the smile and the eyes, but really nothing else. When this face is shown in the trailer, there's a very loud scream. So maybe this is like foreshadowing some sort of event that happened with this character or object. This face is one of the only things shown in the trailer as well, so I think it's going to be fairly important. Maybe it'll be a big gameplay mechanic, or it's teasing some sort of enemy. The next screenshot also shows a brand new character, or maybe it's a returning one. Many people have said that this character looks a lot like Barley, one of the Butcher Gang members. I think it'd be really interesting if we got to see perfect Butcher Gang members in this game. But regardless, I'm pretty excited to see who this is. It's cool we're getting new characters along with this game. The area around this character also appears to be underground, as you can see rocks and dirt around him. I think this area in the game might take place under the house mentioned in the trailer. The next screenshot is pretty basic, it's just some writing on a wall. However, apparently this mark means evil, so yeah, that means something I guess. Some people think this game will take place after Jenkins Think Machine and Bendy in the Dark Revival, so if they do start messing with the cycle, it would make sense that the inhabitants in the Ink world start seeing them as evil. I think this symbol can mean a lot of things, and it's hard to nail down exactly what it means before the game releases. On to the fourth screenshot, it shows... nothing! The screenshot seems to show some sort of archway with a light over it, and yeah, I don't know. There's also some sort of fog in the background. This might take place in the same area where the house is, since both these locations show an empty void with some sort of fog. The final screenshot I think is pretty interesting. It has a door sitting in an empty void leading to somewhere. Some people think they can see a bendy cut on the screenshot, but I'm not really all that sure. However, I think this screenshot is really interesting, and maybe it's teasing a new gameplay mechanic that we can travel through doorways in the void to get to other areas in the cycle. The game's description also mentions revisiting the past and present, so maybe we can visit older versions of the cycle like Bendy and Ink Machine and Bendy and the Dark Revival. The screenshots from this game already look really different from the other games, so maybe this is a new version of the cycle or just a heavily altered version of the cycle we know. I'm very interested to see what this game is in store, and I'll be covering it when it comes out. This game so far is very vague, so there's a lot of things you could say about it. However, I do want to get into some deeper speculation here about what the true nature of this game is. The game's main cover art is actually a book. While this might seem really random at first, it's important to remember that in Bendy and the Dark Revival, it's revealed that Joey Drew is controlling the cycle through the illusion of living book. I think Gent might be using a new book to control the cycle or a different version of the cycle. In Bendy and the Dark Revival, we're introduced to Alan Gray, the CEO of Gent. And it's shown that he helped keep Joey Drew Studios afloat so he can continue his experiments with the Ink Machine. Later in the game we also learn that Alan Gray has been looking for the Ink Machine. And in the end of the game we see the Ink Machine being collected by Jen. Considering all of Alan Gray's mentions and build up in Bending the Dark Revival, I think it's pretty obvious he'll be a villain. So I think this game will be about Alan Gray and Jen either messing with the cycle or making a new cycle entirely. This is reinforced by the fact that Jen is listed as the developer of this game. Something I noticed while editing this video was that the game's trailer had vibrant colors in it. This again reinforces that this game is a sequel to Bending the Dark Revival, since in that game, Wilson introduces vibrant colors to the cycle. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to support our future videos and get behind the scenes content and early access to future projects, please consider donating to our Ko-Fi. Thanks again for watching, and remember, fear the machine.